Good morning, YouTube. Diamond Lust Angel here. Today, I'll be doing a review on Impostable Low Carb Pasta. And I'll also be doing a glucose test to see if it's really keto friendly. So if you want to see this review, please stay tuned. <laughs> Impossible low carb pasta. The nutritional facts are total carbs 44, fiber of 36 grams, total sugar zero, zero sugar added, which brings the total carbs around roughly around eight net carbs. Um, calories of 55. Um, I took my glucose this morning and my results are here. So what I'm going to go do is go cook up some of these so you can see the texture and, of course, do a taste test. So, guys, I just retook my blood sugar so I know that what it was right before I started eating the pasta. And it jumped to 113. But anyway, I got a serving of the pasta. And this is what it looks like. Looks like really good pasta but we're going to see how it tastes scared not bad it tastes like pasta It tastes like pasta. It's really pasta. Um, I'm hoping these are really low carb because they are really good. I can only imagine. I'm eating a plain, so nothing else will mess up the results. But they are really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna eat all of these, but I'm gonna go have a serving or a half a serving or whatever, and come back in an hour and let you know how my glucose test went after I eat these. So. I had really high hopes for this pasta, the impossible pasta. But unfortunately, um, it didn't work for me. I retook my glucose. It's been an hour and it went to 137 and the results are here. I don't know if it's the pasta or if it's just me. Cause like I said, I started this morning with my glucose at 97, an hour um, later I took it before I start eating and then it was 110. So right before I started eating the pasta, it was 110. And then an hour after I ate the pasta, it went to 137. So for me, it's a no-go. I can't do this possible, impossible pasta. Um, it gave me too much of a spike, but Maybe you can um, try for yourself and see if it gives you a spike, but for me, it's a no-go. Okay. 